Hello everybody, my name is Joshua Winkins and welcome back to another video. Now, this video is basically talking about two different apps or websites on basically how to optimize your YouTube performance or, or those kind of things. So the two apps I'm going to be talking about is YouTube Creator Studio, which is actually an app on your phone, and Social Blade, which is actually a website on your Mac, your PC, uh, or whatever. So before we go ahead and jump into the rest of the video, I want to go ahead and announce that I am doing the 100 subscriber giveaway. So as of currently, I have 58 subscribers. So once I hit 100, we're doing a gift card giveaway. So it'll be a gift card of your choice. So just go ahead and comment down below what gift card you want to win. So when I hit 100 subscribers, you may have the chance to go ahead and win. So let's go ahead and actually, I'll hop into the first app, show you kind of around the app, and also where to download the app. Let's go ahead and cut to that clip. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the first app, which is actually YouTube Studio, YouTube Creator Studio, or whatever you want to call it. I actually have a screen recorder so you can actually see what I'm doing while I'm talking. So the first thing I have is actually I brought it up on the App Store. So this is actually an app you can download. It also is basically, it's also on your desktop. So I'll go ahead and put a screenshot up of where it actually is. But you can go ahead and see your analytics on your desktop from your YouTube channel. But this is a way to do it on your phone. Now you can't go on your YouTube channel on your phone do the same things you can do on your desktop. Go ahead and put screenshots up so you can understand what I'm saying. So this is a mobile version. So you can go ahead and look at all your analytics and how many videos you have and subscribers you have so you can kind of optimize your performance. So we'll go ahead and actually open the app. So it's YouTube Studio. I'm going to call it like YouTube Creator Studio. So as you can see right here, it has your name and then it has how many subscribers you have. Right now it's, it's uh, 58. It goes ahead and shows your watch time, your views, your subscriber change, your estimated revenue if your videos are monetized. My videos, however, are not monetized because they don't meet uh, certain standards. But as you can see, it just says the last 28 days. You can go ahead and change it to the last year or then the, the last 60 days so you can just see how much you've grown. So you personally know how much you've grown if your video is really doing well. And you can see, oh, my watch time is really down. I've been losing a lot of subscribers. You probably want to change something up. So that's all dependent on what your numbers are. I haven't been uploading a lot. So therefore, my numbers are pretty bad. But you can go ahead and look. Next is videos. So you can see it'll be all your videos. You can do view more. Should bring them there. You see every single video, how many views you have, how many comments, how many likes you have, and that. And you can just see little uh, three lines. You can go ahead and see more dashboard, playlist, comments. So the dashboard is the main page. You scroll down the dashboard. You have comments, so you can see it says my three most recent comments. You can go ahead and see all your comments, so you can go ahead and reply to them. Just a great way to do it mobily, or you can actually do it on your YouTube channel, on your video. It just depends on who you are. So go over to analytics. This is by far the most important thing that you need to know. You need to learn how to master this entire page. As you can see, it says real-time views, estimated views. That doesn't mean you're going to get 27 in 48 hours, but it means you're changing. You're, you're most likely you're going to get 27 or somewhere around it. Now if you see like 3 views in the next 48 hours, that means your videos are not doing very well. If you see 20,000 views estimated in the next 48 hours, that means YouTube is seeing your videos are doing really well and they expect more and more people to watch it. It doesn't guarantee that you are going to get it. Now right here also the estimated views, so you can see which video which of your videos are doing the best. So if you see a couple of your videos with like 20,000 estimated views in the next 48 hours, then you know those videos are probably really really good really efficient so you probably want to do more of that you can go ahead and I've already talked about this watch time views as you can see it says the red arrow is down which means I've not been doing very well and you can see average viewer duration subscriber estimated revenue I mean I'm not going to try to explain every single thing here but you can see more things here watch time likes versus dislikes revenue if you're monetized I personally am not now here are definitely some of the big important things you need to know obviously watch time is crucial and I think that's personally the most important aspect but you also want to look at discovery and see where you're being discovered so your top external sources if Twitter is you're getting a lot of attention from Twitter you probably want to focus more on Twitter you can see a whole bunch of traffic sources um, some of your top YouTube uh, searches so you can try to optimize your searches you've got audience though I don't have a huge demographic but as you can see here you just have like age gender so just help you can understand 
who you're targeting and who's watching uh, your videos. You just, you, it's very helpful to kind of understand how to optimize your YouTube performance. So if you see certain videos are doing very well, certain people are watching your videos in certain countries, you're gonna wanna target the audience that is most that has most attention towards your videos. That kind of makes sense. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and hop over to the second app, which is not actually an app, it's a website. I'm like, I'm gonna show, go ahead and show you how to kind of optimize it and how the entire uh, website works. Just go ahead and cut to that clip. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the second app, which isn't really an app like I said before. It's a website. As you guys can see here, it's screen recorded. It's gonna probably be plastered right in front of my face, but I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put it. But it's called Social Blade. Now this, you, as you see every single YouTuber or social media influencer is gonna use this app. That's how you get those real-time subscriber counts. Go ahead and show that. But as you guys can see here, it's screen recorded. And you can see it says like YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, all your social media accounts. So you just go ahead and choose which one you want to see statistics on. Now, now kind of the whole point of this entire video, why would you want to use any of these apps? Like I said before, you really want to know who's watching your videos or if videos are doing really well. If you're making a ton of cooking videos and you're realizing these videos are absolutely awful, nobody is watching it, all of a sudden you made a, like a fashion a shopping spree video and all of a sudden you see your watch time spike up. That probably means you're, you may want to ditch the cooking videos and maybe try to go in a different direction. When you're new and starting out, you're, you're going to want to try a whole bunch of things and find out which one is working for you. And that's kind of what I'm doing. I've tried I've done a whole bunch of different videos and I'm trying to find which videos are doing really well for me. So go ahead and I'll an example of my YouTube. So as you can see here, it says Joshua Winkins. Just search in your name under which like YouTube, Instagram, whatever platform you want to look at statistics for. Now Instagram and Twitter, they don't give you uh, amazing statistics, but it's still any statistics uh, definitely help. So as you can see here, it'll just bring up a whole bunch of search results. Go ahead and click on your name and it shows you subscribers, upload, video views. Obviously, you know what country you're in but it'll uh, channel type. Now channel type is really, really crucial. Mine's blank right now, which means it's not a good thing, which means that like YouTube hasn't really figured out what I'm, what I'm trying to do. So if you have a channel type that says like cooking, then you're probably on a good, uh, good track. But right now YouTube is confused at what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to steer myself in a direction. So if it, if there is something under channel type, you're definitely on a good track. So as you can see here, it shows my most recent video, my grade, uh, my subscriber rank, uh, social blade rank, uh, monthly earnings. So obviously I'm not earning anything right now, but it says like if I was monetized, that's how much money I probably would be making, which would be like $20 a month, which is absolutely nothing, which is why you don't get monetized until you get like a thousand subscribers because you'd be making $60 a month, which is next to nothing. It's pretty much pointless. Um, you guys can see your video views, your subscriber in the last 30 days. It's important, but here is definitely the last thing of the whole app. This is really important too. I don't believe uh, the YouTube Creator app shows this, but as you can see here, it says every single day, and then it says how many subscribers you had that day and what day you gained a lot of subscribers. As you can see here, it says uh, March 18th, I gained three subscribers, and then I haven't gained a subscriber until the March 27th and I just gained one on a Friday night so I'll kind of show you guys how many subscribers you earn so if you see like in the last couple of days you've been earning a lot of subscribers or you see you've been losing a lot of subscribers you're gonna to want to change depending on what your subscriber number is and what your uh, view number is so you're gonna see here same thing views how many views you've been getting that day so if you've been seeing your views are really really low you haven't been getting a lot of views you might want to switch something up now definitely probably the last thing it shows the last views per month I've shown that a lot. Go ahead, this is the last kind of feature of the entire uh, website. Live, this is how you see people do these live subscriber counts. I post this on Instagram a lot, just to update you my subscriber count. And as you guys can see here, just went up uh, one, so 58 right now. But that's definitely how people get those live subscriber counts. So Social Blade is a great app, and I highly recommend our website, and I highly recommend you go ahead and just look it up on any device you have or try to download the YouTube uh, Creator Studio apps. Both of them are really helpful and have definitely helped me optimize my uh, YouTube channel performance, try to build a better video, try to reach a bigger audience. So anyways guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Definitely helps the channel out and if you want to, go ahead and leave a like on this video and go ahead and comment down below, uh, put in front of the city's uh, quotation marks, uh, YouTube don't forget, I have a 100 subscriber giveaway, so go ahead and join that. I'm not going to go ahead and repeat the rules. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next video, which hopefully will be next week. Again, with my crazy schedule, I don't know when I will be able to upload. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next video next week, whenever I have the time to post. Peace.